Hello, Internet! I'm Keller Ferrandi, and welcome back to Frogger He's Back! We are done with the first two worlds, the Retro World and the Lily Pad World, so we're going to move on to the Leaf World, the shortest world in the game, only two levels. First one, Honey Bee Hollow. And this is an interesting level. Also has amazing music. I know I say that about pretty much every level, but this one is truly good. So we've got these beehives here. You don't want to get too close, otherwise they'll start to chase you, like so. And I'm already getting super hoppin' wick mixed up. Hooray! Ah, boy. If the bees start chasing after you, you can hide behind the stumps and they'll leave you alone. Also, this is quick jump. If you've got quick jump, you can, well, jump as fast as you can tap the button. Oh, come on! Oh, I ran out. No, no, no. Nope. 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 Not dealing with you today. Ah! I wasn't paying attention to that time. Hop, Frogger! Hop! Hop to it! Whew! Thankfully, this is a small level. Ooh, extra life. I'm gonna regret getting that. Ack! Move it, bees. Hey, I was hiding behind a stump. You can't stump. You can't stun. Stain me for a stump. No! I gotta keep moving forward. Yeah, this is a pretty small level. All the frogs are like grouped in one area. But it's basically like, well, if you want to get all the points, you have to be greedy. <laughs> No, no. You're not getting the best of me. At least we'll get to hear this awesome music for a while. Lick! Frogger does not want to lick sometimes. There we go. Alright, I think I've eaten all the bugs on this level, which is kind of hard to do. <laughs> Granted, I lost some lives in the process, but I'll break even at the end. Hey, Blue Frog. Yep, I broke even on lives. <laughs> and next up, Canopy Capers. This level is kind of a thing. Also, it's got wooden creatures everywhere. It's got squirrels and owls. Oh my. Also, it's got a lot of points over here. And birds that for some reason kill you. Despite the fact that they're, like, smaller than you are. What the heck? I fell through an owl's head. Who I say? Someone has just popped through my face. Alright. What the, what the heck? The bird didn't touch me! At least not its mouth. What the heck? I don't remember this level being this hard. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Alright, fine. Well, we won't go down that way. We'll go down this way, which is a bit easier. It's just got squirrels. It also has a one-up. And here we can get the orange frog. Whoopee. <laughs> Can I please go down the way I'm wanting to go down without getting hit by a bird who's as, like, smaller than I am and for some reason eats flesh? No, no. Also, what the heck are these pink veins, anyways? Are they, like, mushrooms? Oh, boy. No! No! Not the stupid birds again! <laughs> At least the owls are nice and give you a ride, but what the heck? High point bug over there. Hard to find. Okay. There we go! Also, you can see that gold frog in the stump. We'll be getting that. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now, thankfully, that's the last time we have to go down the valley of the stumps of death. Alright, watch out for the hedgehogs. I know. Frogger's trying to screw me over! <laughs> Alright. Two frogs left, and they are the hardest to get. Harder than blue, yes. I know, it's hard to believe. I don't know. Now oh, the owl's trying to carry me off. One of the easier gold frogs to get. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whew. That frog can be hard to get. Thankfully, the squirrel's tails don't kill you. The same cannot be said for the birds, but whatever. Alright. The purple frog is in a pretty well hidden location. More birds you gotta watch out for. Come on, owl. <sighs> that branch can sometimes break before you're ready. <laughs> and there's Purple Frog. Alright, leaf zone done. And it's time to go to the machine zone, or the gear zone. First two levels are a lot of fun, the third level is a nightmare. First up, Scorching Switches. Also underrated music in this zone. So the beginning's pretty easy. Especially if you've got the skills. So there's Red Frog. That bug is worth 10 points. Hardly worth getting. And then believe it or not, literally on the opposite end. Oh, that was lucky. So yeah, that red bug there will make you lose time if you eat it. And that red bug there will make you lose points if you eat it. So those are the easiest ones to get. Also, easiest golden frog to get in the game. There we get purple frog. And now, to get green frog, you actually need to get orange frog first. Also, I totally glanced over this. The buttons do different things. They can activate platforms, reverse platforms, stop platforms, etc., etc. So, like, pushing this platform makes that, or pushing that switch makes the platform up there move. Pushing that switch makes this platform move. That's kind of the gimmick of the machine zone. So, if we want to get green frog, what we have to do is go back here, push this switch. And that'll make this platform move. We can jump on that and get green frog. Also, the lava here looks like nacho cheese. Next up, platform madness. Also, a really fun level. Ooh, we, we're getting a little bit of game lag here. So Red Frog is easiest. And I'm maxed out on lives! Yippee! Now we're gonna go down here. Uh-oh. Would not let me eat! I don't understand why sometimes Frogger just will not eat. Alright, to get Blue Frog, what you want to do is hop on this switch, that platform will go, wait for it to touch this one, then hit this switch. That'll make it much easier to go on to the next area. And now what you can do is jump down here. Hit this switch. And bam. You're probably wondering, where's Purple Frog? I don't even see Purple Frog. Purple Frog's at the very bottom. Come on. All right. Orange is mine! You can only fall so far 
before dying, so you do need to keep that in mind. This can be annoying. Yeah. Oh. Cause those guy those platforms change direction really without any warning. No! I literally went through a solid platform. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Tougher than average, but the, that's nothing compared to Lava Crush, I'll just say that. Lava Crush is one of the hardest levels in the game. The orange, purple, blue, and red frogs are quite easy. The green frog is a nightmare. So first, if you want to go this way... Man, he just will not eat that bug! So that's where Orange Frog is. Avoid the meteors or fireballs. What the heck just happened? Now this is a fun little gimmick. Move across the lava platforms. Alright. Not too bad. It gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> oh, whoops, wrong button. Uh oh. There's purple. I honestly don't even remember how exactly to get the green frog. I just know it is really hard. that high power thing. No! Frogger, you almost killed me again. I can't believe I lived. Alright. So the green frog is in the center, and you're going to need to hit every single switch on the level. You have to hit them in a precise order. You have to hit them at the exact right time. Oh, and you don't have a whole lot of time to get to the end. Thankfully, you've got bugs that give you more time. Alright, so that's that switch done. Almost hit Super Hop there! Oh boy. And now we have to hope that these platforms meet up at just the right time. Okay. I can't believe we did this. And that's the green frog. I got really lucky there. And that's the machine zone complete. Ooh. I... Wow. I, I'm very impressed that I managed to get through Lava Crush on my first attempt. That is highly unusual. I remember that being one of the toughest courses in the game. Not the toughest. Oh no. We're <laughs> Let's just say the fish bone levels are nasty. In more than one way. But that will do it for this episode. When we come back for the next episode, we will be doing the bat levels. And if we can get through those fast enough, we might even start the cloud levels. Or do all the cloud levels. Except those take a bit more time than the other levels you're thinking of. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.